Oh my god, 101 Dalmatians. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey everyone, Retro Girls, you cut a back for a brand new video. And in this video, we're going to the. Uh, where are we going? Brom Brom's Grove Carnival. Now, you've already seen the parade at the carnival. They've got like charity shop stalls. Can't even remember what else. Fairgrounds. Um, with these two. A competition. This so one. My partner's coming. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Back over there. Huh? That way or back to the road, if you don't want to. Okay, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Roads.
Dumme. tickets we had to book they didn't ask for tickets they was do security checks the singers on the, the standard like the, the gated area was i would say she needed a better playlist and you could barely even hear her it was good for free but they needed a better song that dude who plays off of Ruthie was supposed to be that we didn't see him. we looked around a few times they might have just popped and gone there was a there was some voids there there was advertising that there was going to be waltzers there there was no waltzers it was Four pounds, as you would have seen on the uh, clip that oh, Sophie and Lisa went on. Four pounds for was it four pounds per person? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, four pounds per person was another ride for quid or for a bit expensive for what they want, and five pounds for bumper cars. It was not worth it. it was in there for like two minutes tops free. Yeah, because I'm sure my bumper car clip was two and a half minutes. Yes, yeah, so it wasn't that good. I only went in there because Katie wanted to go on there. Um, it was good for free, but. The food was expensive. Katie had some fish and chips, and she paid seven fifty. The uh, about two little fish bites about that big, and the chips was undercooked, and it was looked rank. Looked disgusting. Yeah, and Lisa's ice cream cost you five pounds. Five quid I paid for that. <laughs> yeah, five. He didn't even tell me the price. Five pounds for an ice cream. Um, and you could have you could have got it where we went to the, where we went to get your um a rat dog from two pound fifty. Yeah. I didn't even know rip that. Off. Rip off. Rip off. It's okay if you're on some M7 for the kids. They should have put a bit more rides. It was kids' rides. But if you're on toys in full rides, you want like a waltzers or something along the lines of waltzers. You know the other type of spinny rides you can get. Also, I'd just like to point out as well that the st on the Facebook group when they were telling us about like the stalls, yeah, that was misleading because it said like charity shop stores we saw like charity foundations but there wasn't like there was just selling you know like movies and that there was a few tombolas um it was okay for entertainment but it's not something i would do again it's it, it'd be like if it's a hot day and advertise all stuff but there was like three toilets and like some like in the one section you had to walk all the way across the field to that gate area to go in the port loose and the port was dirty and i was like no and it was just expensive like they wanted for pizza I think it was fourteen pounds or fifteen pounds for a pepperoni pizza. Ten pounds for margarita. Yeah, it didn't look that nice, so we waited. So that's all I could say. Um, I'm sorry for day out, but Sophie, you're all right. It's shit. Yeah, exactly. It was completely shit. Fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. It's just it's all right if you got kids and you just do yeah. fun around, but nothing for really adults. It was just there was like the one to the glass of prosecco. It feels like nine pounds. Which you go to Weatherspoon, it's way cheaper. But we did go to some charity shops if you check out the other video. That was that was the better part. Sneak peek, sneak peek. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Stay safe. And keep hunting. <laughs>